Foodie Friday. Hey y'all, today we are making an easy peasy, lemon squeezy, keto friendly, say that again, cheesecake in a mug. Back again with another mug recipe. You know I love it. Of course my cat's going crazy right now. Indy, I'm filming. This is really simple, simple ingredients. It's not going to have any graham cracker because this is keto, but I'm sure you can add that if that's something that you want. What you're going to need is three ounces of cream cheese. Put that in a microwave safe container and put it in the microwave for 15 seconds. Now that your cream cheese is softened, you're going to add one egg, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of natural sweetener. I'm using Truvia. Now you're going to combine it all. Oh yeah. Maybe get yourself a bigger bowl. I'm really interested to see how this turns out. This could be a game changer. You want to swirl it until completely smooth. No chunks. I hate that word. That's disgusting. Not only is this keto friendly, it's a great arm exercise. Mine's gonna be a little bit of a chunky cheesecake because my arm is tired. My arm is tired. Okay, now you're gonna pour your cheesecake into a microwave safe mug. Now it will rise, so don't worry about that. And now you're gonna put in the microwave for 90 seconds, checking it at each 30 seconds, and then we'll see what happens. This is what it looks like. It was in there for 90 seconds. Now because there's egg in it, you're gonna wanna take a toothpick and go in the middle and make sure that it's fully cooked. Pop it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. After that, we're gonna do a taste test. I can't wait anymore. Oh my gosh. I definitely wanna eat it out of the mug, but just for the sake of showing you guys what it looks like. Oh, oh no, oh no. Well, it made it look really nice on Pinterest when the person did that. Let's just take a try at this, shall we? Tastes like cheesecake. I definitely would prefer it a little bit more chilled, <laughs> but it's really good, you guys, and really not that bad for you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me with another recipe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.